Hi guys, this is Kumar. Today I'm going to introduce you to microscope. Microscope is really important in biology class because the invention of microscope has opened a, up a whole new dimension in science. By using microscope, scientists were able to discover the existence of microorganisms and the study of structure of cells and see the various cell organelles. So today what we are going to do is we are going to have a look at the various parts of microscope and how to use it. So all it started about microscope was in 1665. So an English physicist Robert Hooke looked at a silver of cork through a microscope lens and he was the first person to coin the term cell. So before using the microscope, let's uh, look at some of the precaution and care which you should take care of while you are using microscope in the lab. So the first and the foremost thing is always carry with two hands. Never carry that with one hand. And never touch the lenses with your fingers because it's going to put some bad impression on the lenses and you're not able to see the specimen clearly. Only use the lens paper for cleaning. So don't use any other paper or any other cloth to clean that if it's hazy. Keep the objects clear of the desk and the cord. So you don't want to trip over with the microscope. When you are finished with your scope, rotate the nose piece so that it is on the low par. So what is a low par, I'm going to discuss it. But make sure when you're done, it should be rotated the nose piece to the low par objective. Roll the stage down to the lowest level and rubber band the cord when it plays the dust cover. So when you're done, you have to take care of all these precautions and that's going to save our microscope for the further usage. Let's look at the different parts of the microscope. So starting with the ocular lens, arm, stage, coarse adjustment knob, fine adjustment knob, base, light, diaphragm, stage clip, objective lens, revolving nose piece, and the body tube. So let's look into these structure in detail. What are these for? So starting with the ocular lens, which is a long tube-like structure, and in which you are able to see, magnifies where you look through to see the image of your specimen. So they are usually 10x to 50x power. But here, like we are going to have like uh, 10, 40, and 100. So it's going to be these powers which we are going to use the microscope. So whenever you are going to pick the microscope up, you are going to support the tube and connect it to the base which is the arm and you're going to pick that from this place. Stage, which is a kind of flat thing on which you keep your slides, are the flat platform where you place your slides to see. Course adjustment knob. So the course adjustment knob is this one which moves the stage of the body up and down. So by rotating this, you can move this stage up or down to adjust the focus. Fine adjustment knobs. These are the small round knob on the side of the microscope which are used to fine tune the focus of your specimen. So when you're done with this, you're going to use the fine adjustment knob. And after you, <clears throat> excuse me, after using the coarse adjustment knob, you're going to uh, fine tune that. The base. The base is the bottom of the microscope used for the support. So when you are going to pick the microscope up, you're going to pick that from this neck and put your second hand at the base. That's how you pick the microscope. The body tube which connects the eyepiece to the objective lens. And there are revolving nose pieces and these are the parts that hold two or more objective lens. So in our class, we are going to have three revolving objective lenses. 
and these can be rotated to change the power. So these objective lengths are usually you will find we have in our class 3 or 4 but in our class we are going to use 3 which are magnifying power are 4x, 10x, 40x or 100x. So R start with 10x, 40x and 100x. That means you are going to magnify the size of the specimen by these and the nose piece have a 10 power so whatever you are doing that you are going to multiply this with 10 and that will give you the magnifying power of the lens so what you're going to do is you're going to start with the shortest objective lens with the lowest power and gradually you're going to go up to the greatest power so these are lenses are also color coded so there will be stage clips so the stage clips holds the slides in the place and if you your microscope has a mechanical stage which we have you'll be able to move the slide around by turning two knobs so once moves it to the left and the other moves it to the right diaphragm so below the stage you will find a small structure which is called as a diaphragm which controls the amount of light going through the specimen so the proper way to focus a microscope is to start with the lowest power objective so in our case which is going to be 4x so use the lowest power objective lens first and while looking from the side crank the lens down up as close to the specimen as possible and make sure you're not going to touch the slide now look through the eyepiece lenses and focus upward only until the image is sharp so if you can't get it in focus repeat the process again So once the image is really sharp with the low power lens, you should be able to simply click in the next power lens, which is going to be 10x, and do the minor adjustment with the focus knob. If your microscope has a fine focus adjustment, turning it a bit should be all that necessary. And you should continue with the subsequent objective lens and fine focus each time. So when you're going to use the high power, which is a 40x, you're going to rotate to 40s objective but it's going to be oil immersion objective which is which has to be used with conjunction in the oil so i'm going to discuss this in the class the how to use the 40x objective